All right, what's going on, everybody? How we doing tonight? So, um, I never thought that I would have to be the one to tell a story like this, because Lord knows I got plenty of them. But the other night I'm at a uh, concert, West Palm Beach, and uh, it's Dave Matthews' concert. And I'm there early. I got a destination filter set for uh, South Miami. I'm in West Palm. And, uh, you know, I'm hunting Lux rides. Strategy, baby. Anyway, uh, I get a request. 45 plus Lux. Like, all right. Uh, I immediately call, you know, the riders. Find out where they're at, what they're doing. What they're wearing. Because there's 80 cars in that lot already. And I want to make sure I get my ride. So I call. Uh, she tells me I'm in a black dress. Short black dress with my boobs hanging out. I ain't making that shit up. I'm like, all right, you know where the lot is. Yeah, okay. We're almost there. No problem. So uh, I get out my car and I'm standing at the edge of the car and I'm looking for this woman, I'm assuming very in a short black dress. And she did tell me she there was two, two women. So I'm there and um, I turn my back for a second and I see this woman getting in this black BMW and she had on a black dress and I'm like is that my ride nah it can't be so I wait a few more minutes and now I'm like all right let's make the phone call figure somebody might have scooped my ride took a cash ride whatnot I don't want to be sitting there waiting on somebody ain't coming so uh I call her I'm not going to tell you her name but I call her and I'm like, hey, this is uh, this is Vinny. Um, where you at? And she, in the most startled of voices, turns around and says, I'm in the car. And I'm like, no, you're not. Right then and there, I knew she got in the wrong car. She got in the wrong fucking car. And the time that I had my back turned from looking at the exit, there's no way she could have checked the tag on the car. She didn't even have, wasn't even close to having the right car. It was a black BMW. I drive a black Cadillac. Got more style. You know what I mean? So anyway, she starts yelling at the driver. I thought you said your name was Vinny. How did I know? She starts going off on him, right? And the next thing I know, she asks me to stay on the line with her that the driver is turning around now and bringing them back. So I'm going at it and I'm trying to understand like, how the fuck did you get in the wrong car? And she just proceeds to say, hey, you know, I'm sorry. Oh, my God, I'm scared. Da, 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 da. I'm like, all right. So she tells me they're get ready to pull into the lot. And I see uh, a black car. I see two doors fly open. This woman gets out, and that car immediately pulled a U-turn and hauled ass. They see me. They start coming towards me. She's furious. But her friend, well... This is the other part of the story. Her friend is a little mellow. Too mellow. Apparently, uh, they have been partaking in the... It is Dave Matthews concert, right? And so, you know, they get in the car. And I'm like, how did you get in the wrong car? Did you check the tag? No, I just walked up to the car. And I asked if his name was Vinny. He said, yeah, and we just got in and went. So I said, well, where are we all going? Did he ask you the address? Anything? No. I'm like, ma'am, you know, not for nothing. I'm not saying the guy was a, a creep or something, but you just got into a car. You don't even know if it was an Uber. And I didn't want to browbeat her because she felt bad enough. But it's just a real thing. Those two women could have been on Channel 7 News. Like, just that quick. So I guess the point is, is that passengers are not always purposely trying to ditch drivers for rides. If you think when you speak, if you're the type of person that calls your rider, especially at these concert events, to figure out where they are, especially if it's a good fucking ride, then uh, maybe you need to do a, a little more and you know check with them every now and then if it's taking a little long for them to get there. By the time she got in my car, we were about 15 minutes of wait time. Now, most drivers would have canceled after five minutes and been like, oh, wait for the next one. Passenger didn't make it. And you know what? I'm not going to say you're wrong, but this was so early, the concert was still going. 45 plus 
minute Lux fuck that I want that ride so anyway drivers do your due diligence man uh, cause you never know the uh, that phone call I'm not saying it could I'm not saying it couldn't but I am saying it just might especially with all the bullshit and then you know I let them calm down in the car and as we were driving and I was getting them where they had to go um you know, I kind of explained to him, look, these are the things that you need to be looking for. Um, but then she turned around and says, uh, hey, do you have a card? Because I don't ever want to go through this again. Cha-ching. Call cuz, baby. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Um, I'll post it up. And uh, be smart. Peace out.